Hey folks, Quill18 here, and welcome to another episode of our Let's Play of European Universalis 4. We are still on the... What's the patch before Mandated Heaven? Because that's what I've been playing. Is it Rights of Man? I don't know, whatever. We're playing our Iron Man game where we started as Brandenburg, then became Prussia, then became the big gray blob of Germany over here. We've got 40 years left to go, and more importantly, I've only got a couple of days before the 1.20 patch and Mandate of Heaven officially drops. So I'm going to try to finish this game relatively quickly. I'll try to play probably a little bit faster uh, because I'm going to try to record a bunch of episodes back to back to back to back to back to back to back today in one day in one shot and hopefully finish by the end of it. So I'll hopefully not dawdle, although because it's been a, some time since the last episode, um, both on YouTube and in real life for me, we're going to take a little bit of a moment and sort of catch up on what's going on here. We have, of course... Um, integrated Russia, which was in a personal union for us for a while, and our goal was to try to get all of Europe under the German banner here. With 40 years left to go, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. I think we will have to go into, like, um, overlapping, uh, overextension kind of situations and do what we can. Looking at, uh, we do have a mission over here. We have no manpower, but we do have a mission here. If we remove Chernigov from the map, we will get increased manpower recovery speed, which is good. I did spend a little bit of money getting a few more of the, um, Turbo Barracks. What are they called? The Tier 2 Barracks. Conscription Sensors? Training Fields! Right over there. Um, for a little bit more manpower. There are a few other good spots over there, but uh, mostly, yeah. Uh, oh, we'll be okay. we got a lot of standing troops anyway, so that's going to be all right. Now, I noticed I've got the Foreign Aid Act running here. <clears throat> I think that was because uh, we were using that to help us integrate Russia a little bit faster, but we have no vassals anymore. We have one subject, which is the German West Indies, and that's it. I don't think the improved relations, we don't care about um, uh, aggressive expansion and coalitions and stuff like that. We don't care about Diplo Rep, I think, so we can go ahead and cancel that. Save us a little bit of Diplo Power. Not that Diplo Power is that meaningful. I'm going to keep the Manpower Recovery Speed modifier here, and it's probably worth running the Anti-Smuggling Act for more trade efficiency, just to keep the money flowing. But let's see if there's anything else we can run that might be useful. Um, we can't run any admin policies here because we need all the admin points we can to core, which is too bad because the Liberation Act would be hella handy. Uh, but yeah, uh, ain't gonna be. We don't have any vassals, so we don't need that, we don't need that. A goods produced modifier would give us a lot of money. Uh, in the past, I've often conflated um, uh, production efficiency with good produce. Production efficiency gives you more money from good production, but does not um, actually increase the total number of goods produced, therefore doesn't boost trade. But this would let us double dip there, getting both the extra production um, and the extra trade, which might be, meanwhile, worthwhile. I think what we're going to do, though, is we could look at some of the military things, because I don't think I'm too stressed about increasing... Um, if I were to get another level in either one of these techs, which is already wickedly ahead of time, we'd be out of sync with admin technology and get some corruption. So I think it's okay, and in fact, possibly desirable to run more of these. Maybe it would have been fine to keep that running just for the sake of things. So I don't see any reason why not. I may as well take the land leader shock. Not the shock's quite as important anymore. I think this only applies new leaders that I create, but at least, you know, it's going to be there. That's going to be fine. Um, garrison growth and attrition for enemies, I don't think is that meaningful. The, the morale recovery speed might actually not be a bit terrible idea, um, just so that we can bounce back between combat a little faster. I'm going to go ahead and take the Production Quota Act. Uh, and am I capped? I can only have five policies. Well, there you go. That's going to be fine. So we'll have some more goods. We'll have some more money. And we will keep pumping out a ton of mercs, in fact. Let's take a quick look at our budget over here, Army Maintenance. We do have some mercs running. We have some reinforcements still kicking in. That's going to be fine. Um, inflation goes up. That's... Okay, now, currently, we are running a negative balance at this time, because uh, we are maintaining a crap ton of forts as well, is part of it. Maybe that's what I should have done between episodes here, is actually <clears throat> bring some of these forts down, because um, I don't I don't really think we need them, you know? Uh, I'll keep the level 8 fort, for example, but maybe this level 6 can go away, uh, and a few others. Um, at times of peace, you know, obviously, we can run with no fort maintenance, but that doesn't happen that often. Um... You know what? I'm going to get rid of the uh, the one in Vienna. I know we boosted it up to eight. Uh, but if it's not on defensive terrain, then I really don't care. We don't need this many forts around France anymore either. So uh, we're going to go and get rid of some of these deeper ones. It'd be nice if we could filter this by level and then get rid of some. I don't know. I mean, I may as well keep, I don't know, some maybe? Mostly like the forts will be targets for people to stand around in. Um, anyone on the farmland, like, that's not really appealing, because at least, yeah, see, grassland over here, we can get rid of that, and just save quite a few bucks. Hills, woods, woods, farmland, 
and you know there's two forts next to each other there's no devastation mechanics in yet so it's not a big deal we'll keep the one on the mountain over there that's going to be fine farmland here yeah just to save a whole ton of cash um i don't care about the one on the island um that's hills and it's in the middle of a, a fun area to screw with people um it is worth noting when they declare war on sweden which is going to happen momentarily what's going to happen is sienna is going to be like hold my beer i got this bro uh we can get rid of the one in prague that's going to be fine um okay so that's that's a good number obviously we keep that one we can probably get rid of the one in sealand here because it's so not gonna be relevant we had that up for a while when we were worried about potentially a attack from um from sweden coming in but that stopped being relevant a while ago that's only a level six fort so let's just trash that then not gonna pay for that that's in the mountains it's level six it's in the mountains though uh, as is this, and these guys are near some potential foes. Get rid of that fort. We don't need that. I think we can get rid of the one that's way down here. I'm actually tempted to level up these forts here and here, because it'll keep the Ottomans slash hungry busy when I go after them again, and that's going to be okay. Uh, the step one, it's in a good position, so I may as well leave it there, and that's going to be fine. Okay, so that'll save a few bucks, which is okay. Anyway, with all that being said, let's go ahead and start declaring some wars. You are allied to... Ryzen. Right, so we're going to go and fight both of these guys. Uh, there's no reason to wait. We are at full maintenance. Our armies are in position. Um, we are at 98% overextension might be the only thing. Um, still, I think it's fine for us to start and then just wait to peace out, maybe. Uh, we are going to burn off 14% uh, overextension as soon as this kicks in. So that's probably going to be fine. But I think that's why I was mostly waiting over here. Uh, any chance... So you have no further allies either. So what I can do is declare war down here, cobelligerize you, and that's going to be okay. Um, we'll take the imperialism one just for the discount to both. That's going to be fine. Confirm. Go. You. Crush. Excellent. Um, and actually, I should have had more dudes ready to go a little sooner. There we go. And yeah, you're going to go in there. Okay, and we'll just uh, take care of that right away. We'll probably run to speed four. Any of my armies being attritioned? Indeed, they are. Where are you over here? Oh, you were doing some rebel busting and things like that. Are there a risk of uprisings over here? No, there's not. So I'm just going to split you in half and do something like that. That's going to be fine. Who else is being attritioned? Uh, way up in the north. Um, so let's go and do a little bit of that. And... Yeah, that's fine. Moving. And then you're down here, which is totally okay. All right, that's going to be okay. So we don't have to really rush this down. We're mostly waiting for the uh, the cores to finish. Um, oh, conversions. Uh, right, lots of conversions going on. We're still waiting for the cores to finish, because if with 40 years left of gameplay, we can't go into, I, I'm going to accept 500% overextension quite yet. That will happen at the end. Or maybe we could, and maybe we'd have you know a bunch of troops kicking around for rebel busting, but I think it might ultimately slow us down more than we would like. So I think these guys are kicking around for some rebel busting later on, too. But yeah, we just need we need the coring speeds to be faster. Don't need to make states, because again, we're just hoarding our admin power for now. That's going to be fine. Do, 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 do. Boom! Excellent. We can probably just do one piece, honestly, as opposed to separate piecing these guys out. Because they're probably not going to willing to take the separate piece until I take this anyway. And then we'll see if we can just do one negotiation and eat everything at once. We got revolt over there. So you, actually, you go ahead and deal with that. That's going to be fine. So we'll get some more years of separatism, which is a bit annoying, but hardly the end of the world. Gaining a core. There we go. So we're not quite as overextended. Yeah, you successfully do that and get the 10 years of separatism. I'm very sad. Okay, we're all done. So can I just eat everything? Yes, I can. Do I want to take the money? I mean, it'll technically add inflation, but basically none. So I may as well do that. Nom, nom, nom. That'll complete the mission giving me a there we go a boost to our manpower recovery speed which is nice although notice how much manpower we recovered during the mission uh reduce over extension sure i don't care about diplo rep i don't care about that this would be nice i don't know if our manpower reserves will ever reach 90 percent. almost certainly not um, I think I'll take this, and I think it's going to fail as soon as we go into a war, and that's going to be okay. I mean, I could just take it and cancel it right away. Maybe I'll just do that. If it fail, hold on, if it fails because I go into a war, I don't think we'll have to wait a year to pick a new mission. I think it's only if we cancel, then we have to wait a year. So I should let it fail when I start a war instead. That will actually be better. All right, we are slightly overextended now, despite the fact that we did finish that one core, but some are about to go. 
and that's going to be okay. Um, we'll go ahead and do that. Uh, we might even leave these guys here for a little bit more rebel busting in this area because we've got quite a few coming up. Uh, one thing though is I think I'm going to go ahead and be willing to harsh treatment some more because we are wickedly ahead of time on military power. So I think I'm going to be okay with doing that. Um, Navarran Separatists, we have some troops over there so I might just let you pop. Or what I could do, what's the uh, supply limit? It's not as high as I expect. I'm going to move you into there and move you there. Um, and we'll just do that kind of rebel busting, and that's going to be fine. Are my ships idle? Where's my navies? I think literally every single one of my fleets is totally idle right now, which isn't really good. Let's get you to group up here, and we'll give you some missions. Uh, we, we may want to build some more ships, too. Not that I think we have a shortage of ships overall. So you're going to do that. We are still planning on moving in against Sweden. Um, we have to keep some dudes near Siena, though, because they're going to pop. So you know what? You two, you're going to go and get up next door to Siena here because they will potentially join in with um, with Sweden when I declare war on Sweden. Uh, we fight the past, it fights back. Oh, we're totally liberal, apparently. Or someone is. Okay, we've grabbed that. I mean, there might be some more rebellions here. I don't think we need any more stuff in Sweden. Okay, various modifiers. I, I'm not sure what I want to do with these guys. I'll probably move them a little closer to, I don't know, potentially some future front. Maybe we'll want to go and, and finish off the Netherlands a little sooner. Um, do some more conversions. That's always good. We're currently on stability focus, and I think that's perfectly fine. Perfectly fine to try to bring that down. Okay, all these ships here. Mostly lights. Let's take these lights that are there. We're going to give you a mission to protect trade in the English Channel, although... What's our percentage there? Oh, it's only 38% without ships, so we should really do that. I'm also going to tell you to repair when you're just slightly damaged as well. That's going to be nice. I like the slightly more aggressive repairs um, than default. I could mothball these guys, but I don't think so. Um, and in fact, I think I want to leave the transports on this area here because there's some land to grab in these islands. I'm not going to count these islands as part of my goal, but... Nope, minor inconvenience. Uh, but it's still probably a good idea to get them going. Now, we want to start the war with uh, with Sweden probably now, actually, uh, because we want to be in a good position that when... Why oh, can't Kobolidrize you? Oh, because we have a truce. Okay. Um, I'll go now, because we want to be in a good position to, um, to peace out the second that all of our coring is done. So, we're going to go there. You're going to go there. Um, you are going to... Grab a crap ton of cannons, and you can add your help over here. And I guess we're going to have to go and actually grab the coast of all this. So you know what? Uh, you know what? Well, let's bring the transports as well. Yeah, we're going to try to increase some... Uh... Oh, yeah, we've got the canal! We're going to increase some of the, uh, the, the siege time by getting a blockade going on over there. Uh, and over here... Let's move you in and then just get some extra cannons of some kind. What is that? Level 8 fort. So we're going to need a crap ton of cannons. A metric ca crap ton, of course. Uh, that's probably a few too many, but a few too many is better than too few, and then we can pull them out afterwards. That's going to be okay. You guys are just chilling there, so you can go there. Excellent. And we'll figure out the rest soon. So yeah, start that, get some progress going. Uh, oh, no, we failed to recover manpower. Oh, I'm surprised. Oh, what a shock. What a shock. But we can stick another mission right away. Uh, minor convenience sucks. We are attacking in the sea in a few different places, but that's going to go. Training fields finish. Okay, manpower is still fine. Um, sure, reduce overextension. Probably that won't finish either, but we'll see. Um, so, yeah, you're going to come around over there. That's going to be fine. Um... You're going to jump in there, mostly with a bunch of cannons. I guess you'll go here. That's fine. And you guys are all moving up this way. How, how much more can we move in here? Because there are some forts. Not that many. Many occupations. We may as well leave you there. You can do some plundering. Can you go there? No, you can't go there because of the fort. So actually, what I'm going to do is just split you in half and do that. Make you a little less vulnerable to be squooshed by something weird. Um, can I enter this fort territory? I can. Good. So we'll... Uh, we have some cannons here. Excellent. Send cannons. Send cannons. And there might be some idle cannons somewhere else as well. Like you. Oh, you're going to join down there. Do we need you down there? 22. 
Oh, and you've got that. So we probably need 25 over here, right? Yes, and we've got 22. So tell you what, these seven, I'm going to send you there instead, actually. Um, and these five, and I realize that'll be overkill, but that's okay, are going to go there. And that's fine. And you can move up a little bit more. That's going to be okay. Meanwhile, down here, everything's okay. We could actually use more guns over here. Uh, we can go and grab... Um, I'll leave us there. We've got enough manpower. The reinforcement ticks should be good enough to keep that capped out. We're going to do that. I'll just send some extra guns over there for a little bit of a bonus. But yeah, we're, we're going to send our fleet over there. And it's going to take a while to get there. Is this Portugal and France and Spain? What, what's going on here? French-Portuguese colonial war. I don't know. I'm still waiting for, um, for Spain to maybe break away from France. It would be so nice if they did. So nice if they did. So there's Siena. We got some pirates. That's okay. What is this? Rebel uprising... Russian separatists. 200. What am I looking at? I only got a 15k stack that's likely to pop, so I think I'm going to be fine. Uh, what was it going to be? Like Naval or something like that? We've got a million people over here. Anyway, just go stand in that tile. It's going to be okay. Okay, so we're grabbing a bunch of things that don't matter because they don't have forts. And that's okay. Got a bunch of people moving in there. Although, are we going to get... Oh, yeah, yeah, it's part of the sea. So without the blockade, things are going to go very slowly over there. Okay, we got our ships. Good. I'm going to detach the transports. Oops. And I'm going to go here. I've got an admiral. We've got to engage this fleet. Separatist sentiment. we got to let those cores finish. Uh, cores! Okay, there we are. So what are we at now? 65%. A bunch more are going to go. We're not going to hit 0% overextension, though, uh, most likely because of the bits we just took over there, but we'll see. You're going to go here. Flatten those dudes. Coast. Okay. Naval battle one. Um, I'll use the auto repair to split some guys off, and then we got to be a little bit careful because this fleet is still pretty big. I think what I'll do is I'll leave the heavies there. Is that enough to blockade? No, but when these ships get repaired and go back in there and they're mostly heavies, it eh, probably still won't be enough. So let's split off some frigates. There we go. Leave you to 100%. Oh! Where'd you guys come from? Oh, you, can't, you crossed through there. So you went and bopped one of my little stacks, and you're going to bop another little stack somewhere here. Um, that's a bit unfortunate. Let's group up. Group up over there. And we can take care of them. Okay, Battle of Siena 1. Um, so over here, it's Fort Level 9. We need 36 people, and of course we're going to need 25 cannons, which we've got. So I can leave, say, all the cannons. Well, let's go for the exact... And leave, what was it, 36? Okay, and one more over there to siege that. So this army has only got 21k, but that's going to be enough to go and bop those guys. And that's going to be fine. Okay. And then we still have these guys going around. Maybe get in a position to take the Netherlands, which is going to be okay. Uh, there's nothing to blockade here, so we may as well go there. Country's gotten too big. Too many things to micromanage. All right, yeah, so that's all good. Um, you probably have a siege pip. Yeah, you do. So let's go ahead and do that. That's going to be a slow siege, but that's okay. we got a lot of work to do in Sweden, so that's going to be fine. Uh, you're going to go and bop a 1k stack over there. More cores done. Battle of the Southern Baltic done. Uh, well, some very damaged ships. Our 1k stack got bopped. You're going to come over here. Detach and go. And yeah, you can stay there. That's fine. These are my heavies that are still repairing. And yeah, that's a relatively big fleet. Although most of it's transport, so it's a lot less scary than I thought. Okay, that's going to be fine. So you've got your sort of critical mass of defense there. They might attack. And actually, I would deal with the force penalty, which wouldn't be great. And we don't have a leader there. I don't suppose we have an idle leader. Excellent. You go and join that party. Meanwhile, over here, we're just waiting for you. Good. You group up, although it means I don't have a leader here anymore. 
Um, what do we have for actual leader cap? Oh, we're, we are over. We're above our cap. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, you know what? We don't need this guy deployed here, so I'm going to say no to you. And I'm going to go and add you here. And you're going to see if you can't hunt this dude down. Uh, force march. <laughs> okay, we've got Pisa. Navy's under attack over there, but not really. Um, no, really not really. But I'll jump in anyway. Royal marriage with Great Britain has ended. I believe we're going to want that back. Because I see no reason that we'd want to attack Great Britain. So we may as well keep them around. They're not on the uh, the mainland, so we don't have to fight them. Alright, so we jumped in there. We do have a combat penalty. But, and I hadn't actually looked at the stats. They have more discipline, which is translated slightly higher military tactics, which isn't great. The higher base morale should mean that we'll win the battle. There's a possibility that we'll lose more manpower. And the minus one doesn't help either. And of course, they do have some pretty crazy ideas, Sweden. Very strong bonuses to their combat, but not Prussian strong. So I think what I'm going to do here is... I think I'll do a full consolidate, actually. That's going to be fine. And I can't go there or there because of this. Um, without any cannons, I don't know if it's worth like standing around in here. Maybe. Uh, is that going to get us up to 36? No, not quite. So let's throw a little bit more in there. Just get that started. We can get maybe a few lucky siege ticks along the way without cannons, and then we can move some more in there. That's going to be fine. I wonder if I should just build more guns. I'm kind of thinking. I'm kind of feeling it, you know? Because uh, we're... Whoops, not mercenary artillery. Regular artillery. Because we're going to do a lot of sieging, and right now we need, tw like, 25Ks. Let's build, like, 50 guns. Um... And be ready to go. This is going to properly use 50 different provinces. Yep, okay. <clears throat> um, I think I'm going to get them to assemble up here. There we go. What's 1,200 ducats? Nothing. And we're still well below our actual force limit. Manpower is the biggest uh, barrier, but we can, of course, get a million... Whoopsie daisy. Uh, a million um, mercs along the way. That is not great. Oh, they retreated. But we are very injured here. Okay, split off and do that, and we're bringing the big fleet back over there. You got that, you got that, you got that. This is going slowly but surely. We've got the blockade now, so that's going to go a little bit faster. Um, we are only... Hmm. Only 96% over there. Not that it matters that much. Ah, excellent. So, <clears throat> we're going to move to another fortress over here. I mean, we could make a run for Stockholm itself, but actually it's going to be a little annoying with all the forts they've got. Just annoying, not difficult. Just annoying. And over here we don't have actually the amount of uh, guns we want, so as these spawn, we will definitely get them to move up. Uh, oh, an advisor died. I should take a look. Um, we actually could use the inflation fighting. Uh, is there anyone I can push buttons for over here? I don't think... Theologian, Inquisitor. So this is what? This is the Unrest one. This is the, the Religious Conversion one. Our Religious Unity is still fine. The Unrest one actually would be good. He's, the problem is he's only level 2. And I really do want a level 3 guy for maximum admin power. So I'm going to take Nicholas over here. The Master of the Mint with the Inflation Reduction. Because we do have Inflation, so it's not all bad. Um, how's our tech level? We're still wickedly ahead. I think we could probably afford to um, tell some of these rebels to piss off. I got, I, you know what? I've got armies down here, though. That's okay. Is anyone else about to uprise? Novgorod, we've got a bunch of armies over there. The Hungarian Separatists might be slightly annoying. They're further away from popping. So, you know what? Nope, it's fine. So you keep sieging out here. That's okay. You've got your maximum siege bonuses. Yeah, except for the fact that there's... We don't have a blockade, but that's okay, because we still have a lot of work to do in Sweden. You're chilling. You're doing that. You're doing that. Oh, we need to make sure that... Um, we've got a blockade going there. And then we could set some more blockades on the outside coast, and we will. Oh, there we are. There's some rebellion. 
So, I mean, we do have some troops over here, but not actually that conveniently placed now that I think about it. That's 14k. I think they are going to go in and successfully siege once, and we'll just take a long walk over there, and that's going to have to do. Okay, so start sending the cannons to actually, actually go over there. Have they ever fixed the bugs where sometimes when you do a build like this and they decide to go back and forth all the time? Uh, we need five more. So there we go. You go. Do some more religious conversions. All right. Crush, crush, smash. Hey, trading wool. Discounted ship costs. That's something that's changed in 1.20. Yeah, you've got possession. That's fine. And here we don't have we don't have any cannons. That's right. That'll be something else that's nice. Ah, although now we have cannons here. But I think what's going to happen is you're going to go there and then this way. And we will try to get some ships over there. I suppose I could go and bop these guys real quick. Before they move somewhere more annoying. Because this army actually will take very long to get places. So let's just do it that way. That's going to be fine. Um, we don't need quite this many dudes here. So I'm going to detach and send you here. We've still got a good uh, fleet over there, which is great. You are now at 25, which is very nice. And actually, we're about to get another possible group. Can you make it out here? Only by ship, huh? Which might be fine. Okay, well, for now, just go ahead and go there. And I guess you can't even make it there. Yeah, we really need these to pop, and then we can go into both those places. But, I mean, this is progressing. we got the full siege bonuses now. No siege leader, but that's okay. All right. What's your timer at? Timer is at a place where we've got to put in a cut. I know my, my commentate... Whoa, you are heavily damaged. My commentating is not quite the same when I'm trying to go this fast, and my apologies for that. Um, if I do this, you've still got a full blockade, which is nice to see. We're just using our transports to do that. I have to get these islands and everything, so... My transports, I suppose, could go and assist in blockading this over here. Conversion successful, so let's do some more. Stability is still going there. Yeah, we've got nothing else going on, but that's fine. Um, oh, we can go ahead and leave, like, one troop back there. Excellent. So that, that's just popped. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and put it in cut. And when we come back... We are going to continue to conquer as much of Sweden as we can. We still have a few cores that we're waiting to pop. Um, ideally, we would like to piece out Sweden as soon as those cores finish. And then, yeah, probably take up to like 99.9% .9 overextension. Um, most likely, Sweden is too big to eat in one go, even with our 60% administrative efficiency. So we'll just try to grab as much as possible. Um, and we've already grabbed a fair amount of it. Uh, these forts are about to go. So yeah, there's a good chance that when we peace out, we'll be able to grab, say, up to here and, and up to here or something like that with 100% war score. We'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching. See you next time.